In this video, I will show you how to apply to an IAEA event through InTouch Plus. Please remember that it is a prerequisite for you to have a Nucleus username and password to be able to log in to InTouch Plus. The first thing you have to do before starting the application process is finalize your profile. The profile tab consists of three different sub tabs, the personal, the education, and the employment sub tab. On the personal sub tab, you are requested to provide your details as per your passport. All fields marked with a little star or an asterisk are mandatory for you to fill in, as is uploading a copy of your passport should you not have a passport at the time of application, you can simply upload a copy of your national identification card. Further below, you also must provide details on your affiliation or institute, the address details, as well as your contact details for your preferred email and telephone number. At the bottom of the page, you may provide various supporting documents. On the education sub tab, you have to fill out information on your academic background. You can simply edit an already existing field by clicking on the edit button, making the various changes and clicking on save. Or you can click on add to add additional fields. The bottom of the page, you can provide us with information on your language skills, and lastly, any supporting documents for your academic and language certificates. The third sub tab of the profile is the employment sub tab. Here, you are requested to provide us with information about your work experience, including your employer, title, position, job function, where you work, as well as a short description of your duties. That also includes the time frame when you were employed. As in the education sub tab, you can either edit the information or you can add a new field. Clearly, you can also delete fields if you don't think that they are relevant for the application or your current background. You may access your eligible events through two different ways. One of them is the home tab. On the home tab, at the first part of the page, you will see a list of your eligible events. The second part of the page contains active applications. These are applications that you have already started drafting. You can see that by the symbol right here or applications that you have already submitted for further review and approval. You can check the various application statuses in this column right here. You could start your application process from this page by simply clicking on the arrow symbol in the apply column. But first, let's take a look at the other way how you can access your eligible events. Simply click on the My Eligible Events link to access the Eligible Events tab. Here, on the first part of the page, you have various search criteria fields that you can fill out to find a specific event that you want to apply for, or you can review the overview in the second part of the page. Let's say that we want to apply to a TC meeting. We simply click on the arrow symbol right here. By clicking on the arrow symbol, we are taken directly to the application form, where we are requested to review our profile and answer the attendee questions. We review our profile by clicking on the plus symbol, the page expands and we can now see the information that we already provided in the profile tab. We can also toggle between the different sub tabs. However, should we choose to update any of the information that we have already provided, we must travel back to the profile tab and make the adjustments there, save the profile and continue the application process. To collapse the page, simply click on the minus symbol. At the top, you will see that you can toggle between various sub tabs for your application. The history tab would normally show you the various statuses of your application. Let's say further down the process, when we submit this application, you will see 
the date, when it was submitted, any comments you might have given, and who it was submitted to. The Documents subtab shows us an overview over all the documents that we have uploaded to this application. The Previous Involvements tab shows us any type of previous involvements that we have had uh, in, when we have applied through InTouch Plus or in the old InTouch system. Let's go back to the application form to answer the attendee questions. Here we will simply put test as we are now doing this scenario to show you how to fill out an application form. At the top or at the bottom of the page, we now have various options. We can either save the data that we have inserted, we can save and continue to go further along in the process, or we can cancel this application form. In this scenario, we are going to save and continue. By clicking on save and continue, a new part of the page will populate. It is very similar to when you are submitting an email. The first thing we have to do is to indicate that we've read and agreed to the so-called participant statement. We click on OK, having read it, and tick the box to indicate that we agreed to it. If there is only one project counterpart for the event that you are applying for, the project counterpart's email will automatically populate. If there is more than one project counterpart, you will be able to choose by clicking on the magnifying glass symbol right here. You can also insert any type of email address that you would like in the copy field right here. You could also leave a message, but this is not mandatory. Let's leave a quick message here before we submit our application. We submit our application by clicking on the Submit Application button right here. Having clicked on the button, we are now navigated back to our eligible events and we also see that a pop-up window has been populated telling us that our application has been submitted. We confirm that we've read it and we can now navigate back to the Home tab where we can see that the application has been submitted to Project Counterpart. The application is right here, now under Active Applications, and we can see that the application status has changed, submitted to Project Counterpart. With that, we have applied to this event.